Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. I want to give you a little bit of love and light and some education about something that I personally had the experience to deal with, with a loved one in my family. So many people out there are deficient in vitamin D worldwide, probably one of the world's largest epidemic because of the fact we're not kids anymore. We don't spend a whole lot of time right here. Obviously, vitamin D is beautiful when that sun hits our skin for a period of time because of the fact that as we get older, our ways of life change tremendously, particularly those who live in cold climates throughout the world are not going to have the exposure of sun, will not get vitamin D because they're not getting enough of it through their food. Although the point I wanted to make here, very simple, is that vitamin D deficiency causing that chronic fatigue, uh, that stop, uh, we talk about stopping that chronic fatigue. And here is something through experience that I will tell you from my own experiment, uh, a loved one of my family, as well as patients in the past, but here's a personal thing that happened very recent. So uh, she was just chronically tired, headaches, dizziness, this weakness and soreness, this, her moods, uh, her impaired decision, her, the judgment, chronic tiredness would drive and feel like just want to go to sleep. And this is not a older person. Here is someone who generally is healthy. The blood work overall was healthy, but she never really looked at the vitamin D levels. And I did. And her symptoms were like almost falling asleep at the wheel. So what did I do? I said, stop everything you're doing. Stop uh, listening to what your doctors are telling you to do, what medicine that you're taking, whatever uh, that you're doing to try to make you feel better. I said, you're going to take uh, vitamin D 5,000 I use once a day. And within two weeks, this was a different person. Within four weeks, it was more of a different person. The energy, the vitality was significant. Now you're looking at someone who was vitamin D deficient. Yes, you're looking at uh, a renowned tennis player, athlete, uh, which I played worldwide as a junior. Uh, I eat well, I exercise, I try to keep the positive mental attitude, but I was deficient, I never knew it. And let me tell you, it made a tremendous change in my life too. So in reality, you're saying, how much should I take? Now, generally, when you get a vitamin D, which is a fat-soluble vitamin, it comes 1,000 IUs, 2,000 IUs, uh, 5,000 IUs. 5,000 IUs is the way that I would go if it was me. All right? But again, I cannot tell you nor recommend to anyone out there how much vitamin D you should take because that's why you have doctors. That's why you have blood work or blood tests. Uh, but... It's something I just wanted to share the light with you from my own experience, as well as someone else's experience, as well as many, many patients over the years. But this was just something recently I just had to come out. And uh, if it was me and I was feeling fatigued, I would go right to the vitamin D, give it a little time, a couple weeks up to a month and say, wow, if it's real, you're going to know it. But again, I always would recommend follow up with your doctors uh, and ask questions and make sure that you do not have any other complications of any uh, conditions, diseases, or any medications that can interplay with vitamin D as well. I hope that this can uh, be a positive insight for you. Uh, and I really hope that this can make a change. I ask you to subscribe. If you are a new uh, viewer, check out my channel, Motivational Doc. Check me out on Facebook, Motivational Doc, and leave uh, whatever comments, reviews for me. I appreciate that. Big thumbs up. Most important, Lots of blessings for you and your family. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.